Well, hello, my beautiful pepperonis. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Again. Well, hello, my beautiful peeps. It's Natasha coming at you with another video. And this All About the Mummy video is going to be about my October favorites. Um, so if you watched my most recent Get Ready With Me, so we got to talk a little bit about um, my Get Ready With Me video about uh, splitting into two channels and uh, keeping like my parenting and tips and tricks for that kind of genre on the and the mummy channel and then turning this one into all about the mummy which is all about me and being like my beauty skincare kind of um, me stuff. Um, so starting next month, I will be doing two favorites videos for each month. I'll be doing one on this channel, like I've been doing, uh, beauty and that kind of stuff. And then one over on my other channel and the mummy, um, uh, stuff that my children have been enjoying or stuff that I like for the household, um, and all that good stuff. So let's get right to it. I do have quite a few things in my list. I feel winded. I'm like running all over the place today. It's one of those days where I'm just like... So let's get to it. I actually don't have, I don't think, any skincare stuff this um, month. And that is because I just recently started uh, with some new skincare products. Um, I wasn't really happy with what I was, what I had going on. I had tried, there was a ca caffeine or coffee eye cream uh, that I got from my birch box. And a lot, of people, a lot of people loved it and gave it really great reviews and stuff. And I loved the smell and it felt really nice, but I didn't really see any difference. Um, so I'm passing that along to my sister-in-law. Um, but, uh, so I did go and do some research and find a couple products. Uh, a new serum, a new eye cream, a new day slash night cream. I have quite a few likes, loves, favorites. And then I do have one item that made me, made me sad, made me upset. Here we go. So let's get to it. I have like one kind of like non-beauty item. It's a little random. It's weird. Not really weird. It's just it's just a kind of a random item. And I didn't want to do a whole video on my other channel for one thing. I didn't have enough stuff kind of gathered because I haven't I hadn't been thinking about doing another favorites video. So um, that's this one right here. And you're gonna be like, is that a winter tea? You get out of my face. It is, oh, I held up the, I held up the French version. That is um, white Christmas white tea, and I almost didn't buy it because I was like, I'm not buying Christmas tea in October. Um, but it is amazing. I'm a big mint tea lover. I love peppermint tea, especially like when I have an absent stomach or something, or if I just want to like wind down. Even though my sister t tells me that peppermint is supposed to like waking you up and stuff, I find it relaxes me. And this is supposed to be, um, a rare white tea, cool peppermint, and a hint of ginger. And that's all that's in there, those three ingredients. So it's got caffeine in it. So I'm trying to kind of like, <laughs> I'm never going to give up coffee. Um, like literally the second I'm no longer pregnant or breastfeeding, I'm like drinking out of the pot. <laughs> so I'm never going to give it up. Um, but sometimes like I find... I don't know, I just want something a little bit different, and this is like so fresh and light, and it's still got caffeine in it, so it's really, really good. And they actually had a whole line of new holiday-inspired teas. I'm hoping this is a regular one for them, and it's not only out for Christmas, so I might have to, I might have to stock up. And then everything else is like beauty. So I guess we'll like, we'll just get, maybe work from like the head down, head up. One item I've been loving and I've used a couple times now in Get Ready With Me videos is this Tresemme uh, Sea Foam Perfectly Undone Foam thingy. And it is really nice. I got this sample and I well.ca order and then when I did my next order with them I was so excited because I got it again. I'm like I need to order more or I can just buy it. It's like a drugstore brand. Uh, it's a sea kelp extract. It's really, really nice. It's one of those things where you can use it in your hair, wet or dry. It kind of reminds me, the kind of look you get from it reminds me of like a salt spray type deal, except for you don't have that crunchy salt aftermath in your hair. It leaves your hair feeling really, really smooth and soft. It has a very nice scent to it. 
I like it because I like to let my hair air dry and I find that this kind of just when you air dry your hair it can get sometimes frizzy or it can get kind of like limp looking or kind of dull and I find that this just helps keep the natural curl and volume to my hair um, without making it look like overdone or like crunchy or over processed. So I'll definitely be purchasing this and you can get the Tresemme products like everywhere like Walmart, drugstores, everywhere. Another hair product I've been loving um, to take care of my spit ends is uh, Theory Argan Oil Ultimate Reform Hair Serum. Um, I got this, I want to say in like April or May in a Ipsy bag. This stuff lasts like forever and I haven't talked about it because I don't like just keep bringing the same products over and over again. And for a while I was testing out different hair products trying to see, um, like trying to get on a new hair regimen something um and so I kind of went back to this recently and it's really nice um I like just to put it like on my ends um like we almost like a detangler or whatever like I'll put it on my ends and then I'll brush it kind of through and it just helps just keep my ends soft and protected and and then another item I rediscovered and I want to say I've had this I like eight months or something. I was addicted to this when I first bought this. It's their Satsuma Body Mist. And it's like um, a citrus type smell. I am, uh, I'm definitely more of a body mist or that kind of thing than over a perfume. I have been like loving um, a couple perfumes lately, but I'm definitely starting to reach back for this. And I don't know what, it's something about, I mean, I like citrus all the time, but there's something about this time of the year, like, I don't know why I think citrus when I think of like winter months and like grapefruit and stuff so I don't know if it's just like like missing the summer <laughs> or what but I definitely like feel like I think about this quite a bit um so I think this is like a regular scent at the body shop I'm not sure I got this a couple, like a while back like I said but I've used quite a bit of it if you can tell and it's just like I don't know it's just a it's not overpowering it's just a really nice clean smell to it now almost everything else, should I do swatches? Do you want me to swatch? Should I bring you in closer? Should I bring you in closer to my face so we can swatch? Because I think almost everything else could be swatched. Or you can bring it in closer. Come on, come in closer. All right, yeah. so let's go to the eyes. Um, so one of my favorite products right now, it's like this could, this could get holy grail status. This is CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara and this is in Very Black Blaze. It's what I have on my lashes. I only have one coat on them today. That's it. One coat of this bad boy. Oh yeah. It's got a really nice wand, and at first I was like, what is wrong it's with It's got kind of like a figure eight type wand. I'm, I just tried to show it to you, and my camera was like, no, and I didn't want to zoom in or do anything. It was, I'm just getting used to my new equipment, so bear with me. Um, I got this on sale. I think we're a little better distance now. All right. I got this on sale for like six or seven dollars. I think they're regularly around ten or twelve dollar mark, and I love it. Like, I need to go back and get a whole lot of it because it's my new addiction. So keeping with the eyes, um, I got this bad boy from Birchbox, and it's the Pop Pop Beauty Bright Up Your Life Eyeshadow Trio in Sugar Plum. Now it does pretty colors. So I've heard mixed reviews about these. I personally think that they're pigmented and they last well. They wear well on me, and it could be like my skin tone too, or my my eye color could be a lot of things that make it work for me um, but they're just like really pretty really pretty colors they've got a really nice soft shimmer to them and um, they wear well so and they're really really soft like you can still see the color on you still see the color on my fingertips they wear really really well and um, I like getting that kind of stuff in my bags, like like fun colors, like the yeah, because even the brown or I don't know if that's a taupe isn't really like a normal color. It's kind of the cool end, which is nice. 
Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is, it's hard to see here, uh, Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil on Hot Chocolate. I talked about this when I reviewed some Essence products um, a couple videos back. It's really nice. It's great in your tight line, in your waterline. Um, super creamy. It's a retractable pencil and I think it cost me a couple dollars. That is all. It is just a really nice dark brown, super, super creamy. It goes on really, really easy like a dream. That's that's a horrible swatch, Natasha. My game is off. And it's like just very matte, dark brown. Which you could see out there. So I've been loving that, and like I said, it was a couple dollars. You get it at your local drugstore. Um, Shuggers, sh Shuggers. In Canada, Shoppers Drug Mart carries Essence products. Um, and then another, I'm liking the browns, apparently. Another item, uh, I got this from my Ipsy bag, um, I want to say a couple months ago. And it is from uh, Jelly Pong Pong. It's a two-in-one eyeliner and shadow. And do you have a color? Do not see a color on here at all. It's like a, a brown. Or then you could see it with my other swatch. So this is the Essence, like just dark chocolate kind of, and this is this one. So it's kind of like in between a brown and a copper. So I'm loving it. So you can use it like as a chunky kind of eyeshadow stick, and you could also use it as a liner. If you're gonna use it as a liner, really sharpen it down so you get a fine point, because otherwise it does get a little hard to use as a liner if you unless you want to go for a really thick line um, another item I've mentioned a couple times you've seen it in getting ready with me videos uh, I did it I talked about it in a recent haul from Sephora and that's my Kat Von D shade and light palette I love this thing so much I'm not gonna go on with it because I feel like I talk about it quite a bit and I use it all the time but it is really like if you've been thinking about getting it I highly recommend it because there's so much eyeshadow in here in Canada. It's $55 at Sephora. You get 12 eyeshadows. Some of the three of the pans are big. Um, the quality is amazing. The pigment's amazing. It's just they're great products. So you can use it on its own, create a whole slew of looks, as well as you can use a lot of the colors for really good bases or transition shades um, for other looks that you're going for. It's something that I have to make a mental note not to grab all the time. So that way I can give fair attention to all my products. I gotta play nice, I gotta share, right? A um, couple other items I talked about in a recent Sephora haul and you've probably seen it in some of my other videos because I'm just loving them so much. Um, one of them is this Sephora Colorful Cheek Ink Gel and this one is an 06 Dahlia. Uh, you've seen me use this in a couple or in one get ready with me video. Um, it's just like I've been using it a lot. There's still a ton in here. I love this. I'll be definitely purchasing more of these from Sephora. I swatched a couple of the colors when I was in store and they all just, it looks like such a dramatic bold color but it goes on very natural and gives you just a very um, fresh, fresh air kissed kind of look. It's beautiful. I never thought I'd reach for that for like an everyday natural look but it's kind of what I reach for it from. For? From? For? For? From? <laughs> Another item is a Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Illuminizer in Stardust. They have one other color like this and I definitely will be picking that up my next Sephora shopping trip. It is this beautiful, just like, um, just like this beautiful gold sheen. Is the only way I can describe it. I do have it on my face today, but I don't know if it's picking up. I just want to like play in it. It's so soft. It's it's a finely milled product. So the kind of powder disappears and then you're left with... I don't know if you can kind of pick up the sheen there. It's a very natural kind of... I have a really hard time with it picking up on camera. But it's a very natural kind of gold sheen. It's just, it goes on so nice and so smooth and so soft. Another item I got from an Ipsy bag a while back, and I know you're probably thinking, Tasha, why'd you ever cancel Ipsy? You seem to love the products. I do, but I don't like the Canadian 
American conversion rate and Ipsy charges in American and we get charged in shipping and so it ends up being over $20 a bag when Americans pay $10 for a bag. That sounds fair, right? Uh, so <laughs> this is the Park Avenue Princess. It's the Tarte Bronzer and um, I used it quite a bit when I first got it. But then I just, I don't know, I think I was trying some other like cheap products and I just kind of got put away to the side. And then lately I've been wanting like more of a bronzy kind of look. I don't know, I've been liking like bronzy looks this fall. So um, I've been reaching for quite a bit. Very soft, easy to use, easy to blend. Like I'm not a big, uh, I'm not an expert in contouring or any of that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't really do that very much. I do very light bronzing, very light highlighting, any of that kind of stuff. Um, starting to like experiment in those areas, but it's definitely a easy product to use. Um, anybody can use it if you want to get into bronzing. It's definitely something you can pick up and uh, try and not feel like you have to be an expert or that it's gonna be too much too fast. You can build it up and kind of get what's your own level. My last cheek product, I feel like I have a lot, is this NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder and this is in shade 723A pink cheek glow and I think I want to say this is around the five dollar range there's a lot of product in here it's one of those products where um you can just swirl your brush around in there and then go to town and it gives you a really nice kind of balanced look now moving on to the lips what I actually have on my lips today is a liner from Lord & Barry and this is their nude liner color 3035. I have that kind of like um, as a liner and then kind of filled in to my lips. And then accompanying that is uh, my Julep Plush Pout Lip Crayon and Almond Nude Cream. You can tell I use this a lot because it's like, it's kind of a massacre. So it's got like a hydration kind of cream in the middle. It's qu it's quite nice. It's very, um, I wouldn't say it's like the longest wearing lipstick, but it is very moisturizing and hydrating. So when I reapply it, I feel like I'm almost reapplying like a lip balm type deal. You know, it doesn't really feel like a lipstick to me. So I'm really loving that combination together. And then another Julep lip product actually is it's one of their lip glosses, and this is in the color Splendid. And it's just a very nice, soft, mauve pink. Kind of has a sheen, almost like, I don't want to say glitter, more of a sheen. Another Essence product that I talked about in uh, my recent review of the Essence products is their lip liner, 15 Honeyberry. This lip liner, again, only a couple dollars. Super creamy, blendable, buildable, long wearing. Like you wouldn't think that this only cost me a couple dollars. It is so nice, such a beautiful color. So I've been wearing um, these two colors together quite a bit. Um, so like I, my go-to kind of like nude lip has been like the lip color I'm wearing right now. And then this has been kind of like my go-to berry type, more of a glossy look. And those are really like pretty much what I've been wearing on my lips lately. Unless I'm just going for a bomb. And in that case, I've been wearing this. Um, and I have to say, because I mentioned, I talked about this in a recent haul from Sephora. And when I first opened it, you get a really strong menthol eucalyptus. Like back cream kind of smell. <laughs> when you first open this and it definitely has that smell when you smell it in the tube. When you put it on the lips, it does have like a mint it kind of has a vapor rub smell but it's not that strong on your lips it does feel nice and cooling it is a really really good product um it's something that i feel like i now don't know how i've lived without um i put it on at night before i go to bed when i wake up my lips still feel moisturized like it still feels like there's product on there um but it feels like, like it's absorbed like it's not like on there but it feels like my lips are hydrated if that makes any sense they do have a couple other products um at sephora but i'll definitely be purchasing one of these like i feel like i need this in my purse in in my vanity upstairs in my desk at work like i feel like i need this just everywhere it's a really good product and i feel like i'll be reaching for it quite a bit this winter 
And then I have, um, last and least, a product that I'm really disappointed in. And you guys know I love my Julep products. Um, I'm subscribed to their Julep Ma Monthly Maven program. And um, there's a lot about the company, a lot about their products that I really, really love. And I, I use them quite a bit. Um, and so I was really excited um, to try their Julep Freedom Polymer Top Coat. I've read amazing reviews about this. I've heard so much. It's not cheap. I want to say it's around the $18 or $19 range for a top coat. Um, that's in US dollars. And um, so I really wanted to... I'm having a hard time getting nail polish to stay on my nails. So I've tried the base coat. I've tried different nail polishes. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to get the really good top coat. This is supposed to give you a gel-like effect on top of your nails, but also increase the wear of your nail polish, like by a, a good amount of time because not only do you have to let all your layers dry you also have to let this dry on top of everything for a minimum of five minutes if you're just doing regular light I think it's like two or three minutes if you go under a 60 watt bulb I could be wrong um I found it took longer than that for it to dry and I even did um like run in your nails under cold water I tried that too and like I think that in the first day my nails chipped like I was so impressed, it almost made it worse, if that makes any sense. So I haven't wanted to use it again. Like I've tried it, I made myself try it a couple times so I didn't want to have like that one, you know, maybe it was a nail polish underneath maybe. So I've tried it with a base coat, no base coat, different types of nail polish, Julep nail polish, other types of nail polish, and I'm really just so disappointed in this product. Meh, I'm making the face, meh. So yeah. So, that is the end to my October beauty favorites. I cannot believe October is come to an end. And yeah, November is such a crazy month for me. It's, it's going to be interesting. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, please let me know. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like what's going on on my face today, uh, I will link the Get Ready With Me video where this happened. And if you'd like to see a more kind of a close up in depth tutorial on this look or one similar, um, please let me know and we can make that happen. Alright peeps, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!